Good afternoon, everybody. It's finally here, our first ice trip of the season, and I'm up here with Cheyenne and Drew. Drew's one of our subscribers. We did a video, um, what was that, last summer? Uh, October last year. In October last year. We hit, uh, yeah. hit Glenwood Springs, hit, caught some really nice trout, and right now it's about getting Drew and some fish to the ice. Drew has never been ice fishing before, so what better time to go than some early ice and hopefully get him some a lot of action. We've already done a lot of spud bar pathing and been out here. Um, got him obviously as you can see with the ice picks on but it's all about trying to catch a bunch of rainbow trout today so hope you guys enjoy the video um again it's early ice so we should be getting a lot of action okay exciting stuff out here for our first ice oh got a mark already got one. Oh, yeah i got a couple marks got it nice got one Oh, well, that was fast, everybody. First drop down. Dynamic Lures jig. They're new tungsten jigs, guys. Roadside minnow. First ice fish of the year. Little itty bitty Bowie. <laughs> Little bows. Perfect. Get him back right. in. Is that Fire Tiger? Yeah, Fire Tiger's always a winner. All right, everybody, as I was saying, out here, um, four and a half, five inches of ice. I have a spud path from over there all the way over to where Drew and Cheyenne are sitting. Definitely not here for the prime light bite or anything like that. It's almost one. I got like no vegetation. I'm on straight mud on the bottom here. So the really cool thing about right now, you guys, is typically every first ice we do is a really cold trip, usually in the mid teens. And it's really not that bad, but to start off the year, not acclimated to the cold yet, it can be pretty rough. But today, it is nice and sunny. It's about 25 degrees. Feels a lot warmer than that. Oh, Cheyenne just got one. Batteries dying, but I got one. My first ice fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, Drew's on. Double up. Oh, that's a good one too. Look at that. Double up. We got a double up for Drew's first ever fish on the ice. Nice <laughs> and nice. Good stuff. How do you feel, Drew? Pretty good. It's yeah. definitely way different than anything I've ever done before. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier though, right? <laughs> you just got to sit here and relax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Not pretty. Not pretty. That's all right. The nice part is they, they're a lot less fragile in the cold. In the yeah. cold. yeah. <laughs> so it's weird that you guys are on six feet and I'm on nine feet. Like there must be a little upslope there or something. Oh, got one. Yep, there it is. Oh, I'm not recording. I've just been flying up and down the water column. And they just come in around like six. Yep. Three. Oh, there he goes. That was a failed underwater attempt. Ooh, you get one? Nice. Woo! I didn't even see that one. I didn't even feel one. Number two. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hear that. Oop, I got one too. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Oh gosh, look, I got a sucker. <laughs> oh, really keep it. Yeah, yeah that's great right there. I'll Woo! I got a sucker. <laughs> I didn't know they were in here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's so relaxing. I can just do one of these guys. This is the easily the most comfortable first ice I've ever done. So everybody, forgot to do a gear check. For my rod, I got a 28 inch medium, dynamic lures. Great, great rod for trout, for panfish. If you're looking for a nice general all purpose rod, this is a good one to use. I got a Fluger President reel on here. Size 1500 and I got four pound floral carbon. Switched up my jigs. These are new and I haven't really gotten familiar with the names yet, so I'll leave that on the screen. But I just want to try some different jigs out, some different stuff. <laughs> Drew is on fire over there. I think I'm going to try my bug. This is one that I, I stole the idea from from Tyler's stupid gummy crane fly. Oh, you got one? Yep. Nice! That's a good one. Okay, here's my bug. 
send my bug. Ooh, that sinks a lot better. Ooh, gosh, there's a bunch down there. Ooh, got one. Oh, he popped off. Got one. Sweet. There's the jig. I don't know what that thing is on the jig, that little dangly thing, but that's on there as well. And the fire tiger roadside minnow. Nice. Oh my God. On your bug? Oh my God. Nice. Yay. Yeah, it's not bad for here. All right, everybody, I am moving spots. Just wanna switch it up for one, but then two. It's getting later in the afternoon and my spouse is in the shade and it is a noticeable difference in temperature in the shade. So I'm gonna keep with the theme of today and go with comfort. Ooh, I got a fish down there already. Almost 12 feet. Oh yeah, there we go, come back. Yep, got it. <laughs> that was funny. I just sailed it all the way up and it, it was at four and it just came in from the side and nailed it. Pretty. Oh. <laughs> Woo! All these little rainbows to go. Woo! All right, squirrely guy. There you go. Yeah, I'm a bug. Oh, wow. Yep. I was gonna switch to a waxy, but, well, no, I'm still gonna do it. The waxy. The fish can't resist the waxy. Here they come already, come on. Yep. Killing it. <laughs> oh, see you buddy. Oh, you're getting out of the shade too? Oops, something's on me. I've got it. Yeah. Oh. Woo! My bug's killing it. Oh, got one. Oh, I had one. There you go. Nice. Woo! Woo! Double ups. Just got the double up with Drew. Drew over here slain, Cheyenne over here slain. Got it. I'm a bug. Got it. Pretty rainbows. There we go. It is getting later in the afternoon and my hands are gonna go numb if I keep putting them in the water for these underwater shots. So, let's just get them back in. See ya. Sucker. Are you serious? Sweet. Sucker. Ooh. Yeah, you're killing it. Cheyenne catching us all of our lake trout bait. Stay tuned for that. Saving us some bucks here, guys. These little suckers. And if you haven't seen any of our lake trout videos, I'll leave a video link above. Check that out. We got some pretty fun stuff for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. Oh no, your towel froze. <laughs> oh shoot, something's chasing. Yep, got it. Oh, he's on the transducer, no! Well, that's a pretty one. It's got a really nice sheen to it, a blue, wow. Yep, blue sheen, you know. The rare blue sheen trouts. There's only two on the whole Grand Mesa, I just caught one. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Oh, I was supposed to be a sucker. I think it's safe to say we gotta be close to 40 at this point. They like the little dangly do. Come on, it's off the bottom. Nope. I am leaving these two in the dust to go over here to this spot. There are some people over here a minute ago and they were not catching a single thing. Um, I don't know why. So I'm gonna go over here and see if I can just catch something real quick. Yeah, you can see they stomped out a pretty good, pretty good spot here. I'm doing this blind. Oh, she got one? <laughs> hey! I've done it, guys. The battery is dying, so I couldn't catch the catch, but I did it. All right, Drew, how'd you enjoy your first experience on the ice? It was definitely enjoyable. It was a it's, good one. It's, as you can see, there's, oh, we lost count. Yeah, we, we literally lost count of fish. We safely estimate probably around 50 fish caught in the uh, two and a half hours that we were here fishing. If you're not familiar with weather above uh, 10,000 feet, as soon as the sun starts going down, it gets cold fast. Uh, there's all of our stuff over there. We're in the shade. We're going to get out of here, but I hope you guys enjoyed the quantity over quality today. I mean, it's hard to beat that much action for the first ice of the, of the year. So if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and guys, I can't wait to get you some more ice content. And until next time, Team Cops on and out. Peace. <laughs>